Hello, I'm Don Listwin, founder of the Canary Foundation. The whole goal of Canary Foundation is to establish two test series for the early detection of cancer. And the simple idea is if you can find it and isolate it early, you live nine times out of ten. The imaging technologies that we work on are called molecular imaging. And that's different than normal imaging, such as an x-ray, because we inject something into the body that homes around, attaches to the cancer, lights it up, if you will, and then allows the physician to see where it is. That allows the surgeon ultimately to go in and cut it out, which is the best intervention that we have. New technology Stanford labs are working on is called molecular microbubble. The idea here is what we inject into the person is a microbubble that then can attach onto the cancer. So what's unique about a microbubble? Number one, they're inexpensive. Number two, they use ultrasound as the standard imaging technology. So not an x-ray, not a CT scan, not a PET scan, it's very expensive but a standard ultrasound that you might find in any gynecological office around the world. Once it homes on to the cancer, the ultrasound is applied to the spot and the bubbles actually vibrate, creating color that allows you to differentiate cancer from non-cancer. Why we're excited about this is, as I said earlier, it's very inexpensive and there are imaging machines, meaning the ultrasound machines, available worldwide already with thousands and thousands of trained operators. So as we get this technology approved for clinical trials and ultimately into the clinic, we have a very inexpensive platform ready diagnostic to deliver to the world. The microbubble technology works very well around the GI tract where we have mass. It does not work well in the lung area because there's too much air. So we're working on this microbubble technology for ovarian cancer, for pancreatic cancer, as well as prostate cancer. The first cancer we're working on is ovarian cancer, and this has been under development for five to seven years now, and we're excited to report that we've done the very first clinical trials in a hospital in Rome, Italy. Why Rome, you ask? Turns out our business partner called Bracco is headquartered in Switzerland and Italy and they had a unique opportunity to start those trials. We expect in 2013 that we'll get FDA approval here in the United States and then begin imaging women for ovarian cancer at our very own high-risk clinic here at Stanford University Hospitals.